Yo, yo, I'm Mix Miles and Merman, and welcome to my channel. A little bit of a different video today. I'm off out to go and see my dad, um, who's been diagnosed with, as some of you may know, with, uh, with Alzheimer's dementia. Gonna go and uh, cut his, he's got a little tiny hedge around the front of his, in front of his house, and um, don't really want him using power tools a lot anymore. He's getting a bit, he's, getting, he's knocking on a little bit, and so he has got the dementia. So I said I'll pop down and um, go and cut his head. So I think mum's home as well. So I'm going to pop down, do the hedge. I've got Pip in the back and my hedge cutter. And uh, I'm going to pop down to go and do uh, my dad's hedge for him, uh, just, to, just to get it done. But on the way down, I thought a quick little chat, because um, the channel, Mixed Miles and Merman channel, has just hit uh, 25,000 subscribers. 25K. Cannot believe it. Absolutely over the moon with um with 25k absolutely brilliant and uh what i want to do really is uh, is just so much give people a little bit of a shout out because lots of people have actually helped me out on my on my journey um to get to that fantastic number so i started my channel back in about 2000 and with 23 about 2019 and um, in, uh, in the January, freezing cold, minus three degrees, outside, on a table, snowing, horrible. And since 2019, I've put out roughly two videos every single week, and uh, I did live streams for like two and a half years. But the channel has just crested the 25,000 subscriber mark, so super happy of that, C cannot be, um, even more excited about it. Me and Riley Boy had a little had a little, had a little victory dance last night. I would never have thought I got to twenty five thousand in my life. Never, ever, never, never, never. But I'm quite a humble sort of person, really, because I I know that I would not have ever got to those numbers without a little bit of help. And I've had some help. I've had a lot of help in in in, in my time. So the first people I want, I want to say thank you to actually is going to be um, Martin Butler and Sharon Butler over at. Uh, Retro Restore and Butler's Empire because it was Martin that I very very first sent the email to um, to say I'm going to start a channel could have a shout out he had, he had a well established channel by then on Retro Restore and Retro Hacks which is now no, no longer running I don't think um, but uh, I gave him an email and within a week he, he gave me a little shout out and I started to do a few little videos so thank you very much to Martin uh, fantastic as my time's gone on, I've also sort of copied channels um, with regards to how, how they outlay their content, a bit like the Moa Man in the UK. He's just started putting a few more videos out. And also um, Bruce's Shop over in Canada, another big channel that had a, a massive influence on, on my channel. Uh, so thank you very much to you guys, to Paul and to Bruce. And then as my channel progressed, uh, I built a a community, so to speak, I suppose. I built a community, and someone said I'm responsible for that community. And uh, the bigger channels out there, um, people like Terrell Fixes All, Junior and Slippers, um, became good friends with them, and they gave me a couple of shout outs and bits and pieces, and uh, we, we, we've, we've done a few videos together, a few collaborations and what have you. And uh, without a doubt, Terrell Fixes All, his channel had a massive influence on, on the numbers. Um, also, Steve Small Engine Saloon, um, he, he put a, a couple of shout outs my way and started to come over. And that's when I held one of my biggest live streams ever, where I had some of the biggest names in, in the communities of uh, small engine repair stuff. Um, I did a, a live stream and uh, they came up on the panel, so I had a fantastic stream there. So they are mainly the main ones of the bigger channels that have actually helped me out. Um, but apart from that, the community grew, okay? Now, there's lots of channels out there that um, have helped me along my way uh, and are not quite so big and maybe not quite so well known. So I'd like to give a shout out to my, my big friend, um, Kenny, at Ken Small Engines. Um, good friend of mine over in Connecticut. Uh, good community player, you know, gets involved in everything, likes to, likes to have a laugh and a joke, and uh, me and Kenny have been mates from day one. Uh, been a massive support. Uh, my mate Mend It Man over at uh, my mate Luke over at Mend It Man channel. He's been a fantastic support. Go all these channels, guys. Go and check them all out. BS Small Engines. He's been there since day one, since the Small Engine Nation was formed, uh, since, and since has clapped. My good friend Top Conquer. 
he's another one. He's helped me out loads and sort of been with me, been, been by my side and what have you. As well as new friends like um, Doug at Dizzy Lizzy's, a brand new channel that just sort of just sort of appeared, and uh, he's up the road for me. He's been a massive support as well of a channel. Mustn't forget also uh, my mate Hank Henry Mawarski, um, Big Dog Repairs. He's been there since day one too, and uh, you need to go and check him out. My very good friend over in Denmark, um, Hobby Motor. He's um, He's been a, a massive help to my channel. He's always there for having a laugh and a joke, despite the fact I can't understand a word he says. Um, good channel. And Hooked on, Hooked on Classics, another fantastic channel. But it's been there from day one. These are just, just guys and girls in, in my local community. Um, you've also now got Lord Mower Jones, another fantastic channel, just started out. He's, a, he's been a massive supporter, as well as the Lord Mower Lady, a fantastic lady that... Um, goes out of her way to support lots of channels, so she, she's, she's fantastic. Can't also forget my good friend Jimmy Namoa. He does more landscaping stuff, but Jimmy Namoa has been there from day one too. There's lots of channels that I'm actually gonna miss because it, it, it's just purely just, just there, is, there is just too, too many to list. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab a quick coffee and then uh, we'll continue. So just gonna pop into Greg's without hitting this uh, Iveco van. And uh, I'm going to grab a quick coffee, and then we head down to Mum and Dad's to go and cut the hedge. Let me grab a coffee. I'm going to have a, uh, a latte. Right, let me just put my, uh, I parked up, let me just put my sweetener in my latte. Now, another good channel to go and check him out is uh, my good friend, um, Guys Playing With Tools, uh, my mate Bill. He's, um, why do sweetener packets always come open when you don't want them to? Yeah, Guys Playing With Tools, go and check him out. He does lots of uh, two-stroke stuff and uh, lawnmower stuff. Tinkering Taylor, he's another one. Been there from day one. I know that Nev, he's got a few problems with mental health at the moment, but uh, he's battling it and he's getting there. And just remember, Nev, it's okay not to be okay, buddy. It is okay to be like that. Just keep talking to us, buddy, and uh, keep working it out. You'll, you'll, you'll get there. Um, who else have we got? Um, let me just double check my, my little list here. I don't want to miss too many people out, but, 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 but uh, as, as you can imagine, there's... There's loads. Um, I want to give a shout out to my good friend, the gas guy. Over, um, he's in the UK, Manchester, where he goes over to over to Turkey. He does a lot of videos over there. Not small engine related, but uh, he's been a good support of the channel too. Machinery Nation, another one, another fantastic channel. His channel's boomed, well gone past mine, as I knew it would do. Um, but he was there supporting my channel as well, and you know, and just just being a, a, an all round good guy. The Moa Medic. Now he's been absent for a little while, but I have seen put a few couple of videos out last week. So go and check out my mate Jeremy, the Moa Medic. He's on my list, without a doubt. He's been helping me out, giving me shout outs, bits and pieces. Mustn't forget Zippo Varga as well. Zippo Varga, yeah, he's not been well. We got we got cancer going on, and uh, but he's 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 doing it. He's still there. He's still there. He's still doing it. So go and check him out because. Uh, my mate Zip, he's a, he was a massive part of the channel in the early days, not so much in the later days, but he, he was there and I, I believe he's always, he's always watching. Right down through it. Um, Premier Lawns, always happy to see me. And uh, we meet up at Salt X, have a bit of a nit and a bit of a joke, and um, he's over in Ireland. Go and check out Premier Lawns. Um, there's also people like Steve the Transit Camper, does. Um, overnight camping in his in his uh in his van he's a fantastic fella and a uh, good family man you know he's got it he's got it sorted out he's got a fantastic channel so go and check him out as well he's a he's a he's a good lad the chubby butcher he did a video on my on my uh, the mixed mo's burger another good channel go and check him out mustn't forget patty's performance um jason got a good channel he's not he's not been so active of, of late but you know life life does go on a little bit and people get a bit weighed down with, with, with real day life and whatever rather than just doing youtubing but these are all channels that have helped towards um the growth of my channel lewis Mows and boats new channel brock he's just come in um started doing a few bits and now has, has joined a community which is really nice to see do you remember neil fix it and strip it i don't know if he's still about anymore um, I know he had a bit of a life-changing experience a little while back, but uh, he doesn't seem to be doing any videos anymore. But uh, hopefully Neil's doing okay. But it, it was a, a massive support to the channel as well. A uh, good friend of mine over in Australia, a fantastic um, friend of mine, uh, supports the channel, does the same stuff as me, and that's Rusty Inspirations. Been a fantastic channel. 
Um, I, I like what he does. So go and check out Rusty Inspirations. Also, you got Tom over at um, in Australia as well. Uh, me and Tom fell out, unfortunately, but um, he's still still a good part of a part of the community, and I hope he's doing well. I don't mean no uh, no Ill, Ill Ill health towards him. And he's over at Vintage Engine Repairs. I'm probably one of the only people who actually get his channel right, to be fair. Um, everyone else calls it Vintage Small Engine Repair or Small Engine Vintage Repair. But uh, yeah, go and check Tommy out. He's a good lad. He's got a heart of gold. His, his heart's in the right place, but I don't think we get on. So that's just the way that goes sometimes. Um, Anders, mate Anders over in Holland, uh, my Viking friend. He's got a good channel now. He started up for nothing, same as me. He's, he's getting there. James Calden, another one. Mr. Generator Man. Yeah, he's a fantastic channel. Go and check him out. Um, AJ Restorations, another fantastic channel. Um, the DIY Specialist, another fantastic support of the channel. He's just without a doubt. Small Engine DIY, that's another channel that's been around since day one. I've been watching him, he's been watching me and uh, growing our channels. Uh, the Bald Eagle, another good supporter of the channel. Without a doubt, wouldn't, wouldn't, have, got where, wouldn't have got where I am today if, uh, if it wasn't for him because uh, he, he helped me out watching the videos and supporting me. Ellis Mowers, Ellis Mowers. Now there's, now there's a channel name that you won't forget. Ellis Mowers, fantastic channel. Been there since day one. Turning Wrenches, another fantastic channel, as well as um, Henry over at um, Mowers and Blowers. Um, then you had Rich going over with Mowers and Blowers, or Mowers and mm, Blowers, as well, um, which uh, formed another one. My good friend Gary just had a baby. Congratulations, Gary, he, uh, Project Man. Um, another fantastic channel. Real good mate of mine, and uh, love spending time with him, what have you. He's a, just got a wicked sense of humour, just like his dad. Uh, Grandpa's Workshop, or Grampy's Workshop, over in Canada. Another fantastic channel. Looch Mob's Garage is another one. Uh, Looch Mob, um, they were crazy. They are part of Small Engine Nation, and um, yeah, they're nuts. But I'm still subscribed, I still watch them, and uh, doing their, their, their crazy live streams and what have you. And uh, yeah, they're just a, a good, a good right out there channel. Jungle Bob Repair, been there since day one. Um, another fantastic channel as well as a, a channel called Making Tracks. Uh, but he mainly does more more motorbike stuff. Don't forget Steve OJ over in um, Canada as well. That's my mate Bruce's shops uh, buddy. Uh, Steve OJ, I watch him as well. And. Um, yeah, he does, he does some good stuff over there. He does, he does cars, but it's a small engine stuff and what have you. My good friend's over at EP as well. Eliminator Performance. My mate Jake sent me a hat. It wasn't Wayne, he's too tight-fisted for that. But yeah, go and check out um, Eliminator Performance. Another fantastic channel. There's, there's so many, even like Dick Small Engines. Um, started off, but uh, hasn't put any videos out recently. But these are all the channels, guys, that, that have supported me throughout, throughout my 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 small engine community. As I say, there, there, is, there is loads and loads and loads and loads. But to, to name them all in a video whilst I'm trying to drive is, is, is not an easy thing. A bit like the Rusty Rooster, I wish he put more videos out. He had a great channel. I think he would have done really, really well. But um, obviously he's, uh, he's not putting no more videos out recently. My mate Joe Z, he puts videos out as well. Go and check him out, as well as um, the Gravely Man, another another fantastic channel. Gravely Man's cool too. Arch, yeah, he's, he's a he's a nice, not nice fella. So go and check out all these channels because they're they're mainly the channels that I that I watch on a on a real regular basis. Um, that, that, that that keep me entertained. And um, without without those sort of guys, people like Jason Gardner and what have you, um, without those sort of guys, then. My channel would never, never have taken off. I even watch channels, um, Ben's Workshop, another fantastic channel. He's been there since day one. He's, he's still working at his channel. So I'd like to say thank you to you and to Breezy's Bike Shop as well, another fantastic channel. Breezy's Bike Shop has been there since the Small Engine Nation was, was sort of formed. And uh, we, we, just, we just got on quite well and uh, we, do this, we do the cinema sort of stuff. I've got a new friend of mine called The Mower Boy, who uh, I do a lot of Atco stuff with. Uh, go and check out Mower Boy. He's another one. So I'll turn left here. This is where my down them where my parents live. I bet Mum comes out with a cup of coffee for me. I just bought one from Greg's. Mustn't forget rally small engines and also uh, turning uh, not turning wrenches. Um, random random wrenching and rally small engines. Another another two fantastic channels. Absolutely brilliant. 
Um, been there since day one, part of a community as well, which is which is great to see. This community was what wasn't really there before. I um I came onto the scene and we sort of just just built it up from, from from scratch. Double wide six, another fantastic channel. Not put no videos out for a little while, but um yeah, my mate Bob. I wish you put some more videos out. His videos were good. A good tool fabricator and uh, and small engine mechanic and uh, the lawnmower detective also another fantastic channel. He's not put many video uh, out too. There's lots of channels here that I've mentioned that some of them haven't put videos out for whatever reason. It's just it's just it's just a way just a way she goes as they say in Canada. But um, a bit sunny today. But uh, there's a few um, a few names for it. Shout outs now. If it wasn't if it wasn't for those for those girls and guys, then my channel just pretty much wouldn't wouldn't have um, existed in the context it is now. Um, if I have missed anyone out. Um, it's not been intentional. Don't forget Chicanic, another good channel as well. Mustn't forget Chicanic, uh, Bree, she's doing fantastic as well. And there's a new channel as well, Married to Small Engines, another new channel. Go and check, uh, go and check her out as well. So all, all these channels are popping up. They're all popping up and um, new people turn up, old people go away and old people go away and more new people turn up and bits and pieces. And yeah, it's all, it's all, it's all great guys. It's all, it's all really good stuff. So if I have missed anyone out, it's not intentional. I'm trying to drive and drink my coffee at the same time. I talk to you lot. Just um, go and check out some of these channels because they're, they're all worth a worth a watch. And, and without them, I wouldn't be where I am today. I know that. I'm 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 a quite a humble sort of guy. That's nice. I'm quite a humble sort of guy, and um, without them, I do I do I, I do appreciate that my, my my channel would never be where it is today. But we hit twenty five thousand subscribers. 25,000. Never ever thought I'd get to that. Ever, never in my entire life. I'm going to go over 500. <laughs> 25,000. But we have, we've made it. So I'm just going to turn up now to mum and dad's. So we've got a little tiny hedge. It's not a big hedge at all. Um, I might try and get a bit of video footage for you if I can. It all depends on how they're parked in the close. It might be busy. But uh, it's only a small little hedge. I just don't want my dad getting a hedge cutter out. That's all it is. So let's see how we're doing for parking, and we can park pretty much right outside the house. Lovely, that does. So I'll go and bang on the old door, and uh, he's got all his tools out already, bless him. <laughs> oh, we're gonna be in trouble. Right, let me get sorted out, set up, and I'll come back to you in two seconds. Right. Got you on the old, in, got you on the old magnet cam. I'm just gonna grab the old hedge cutter out the back. You stay there, Peppy Dog. Good girl, stay, stay, good girl. All right, Pop. Hey? Eh? Well, you got to do all of it. I'm not doing anything. I just want to. I'm going to sit and watch you do it all. What do you mean not doing it? What are you up to then? What are you up to? Oh, okay. So, well, how, how low do you want it in? Do you want me just to take take this top bit off? It looks to be quite a good, good baseline about about here, isn't it? Yeah. Just reduce it by about quarter. All the way through there, don't go up and down. Well, you know, you could make it straight anyway. We've got spirit level. <laughs> yeah. Where's Maz then? What? Wednesday, isn't it? Did you work Wednesdays? Wednesdays. All right. Yeah. Alright. Oh, Alright, right, was she? Yeah, I hear you. No, that'd be fine. No, that'd be fine, Pop. No, that'd be alright, mate. I oh, don't trip over that. I've been started for a year.
bad. Problem is, some of it's not quite low, isn't it? I might go a bit lower, Pop. That's better, isn't it? You stand like that, yeah. that's not too bad. <laughs> How's that? Yeah. Right. I can bring it down a touch. The problem is, like I say, this one here, that's, that struggled, didn't it, that, that one? That one struggled a bit, so I'll take the brush out of it and we'll have another look at it and then just fine tune it. Oh. How long have we had these ones in there now, Evan? Must be three, three years? Three years? Yeah, and weren't they? They were evergreen too, weren't they? Oh yeah. You would have thought they'd. You would have thought they'd pick up just a touch more, wouldn't you? Yeah. Well, that's too bad. Yeah, I just tied it up, and you can pick it all up and uh, give you give you something to do, wouldn't it? Well, yeah. <laughs> That's quite nice. <coughs> Happy? Yeah. Good show. Oh yeah, a bit. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, that one. Too much off that bottom pot because it, it'll uh, it'll open it up. Open. <laughs> yeah, it'll open it up and then uh, start to show a few holes, but that was good. That was good, man. Dee -dee -dee -dee. Grab my coffee. I grabbed the coffee on the way down. <sighs> is that the first cut that's had, is it? Or yeah. yeah, they are slow growing, aren't they?
fans in. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They pulled all the fucking flooring up. Yeah. I don't know where I'm going to go to get to even. Right. You want me to have a look at my loft then and uh, just sort the flooring out. Yeah. Right, eh? I'll have a nose. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Yeah. You've had this broom some years, haven't you? You've had this broom some years. Did you get a medal like Trigger? It's only had 14 new heads and six new handles. You got any bags? Got black ones, yeah. I do. I'll put a bit in there. Yeah. We're indoors. You do that, I'll do that. I should put it down there, I'll pick that up. Uh, two or three pop, yeah. Two or three should do it. I'll take it away then. Dee 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 dee. Right. That's good, man. And it's good. All good in the hood. Ooh. Nice little job. Dee -dee 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 -dee. I've got to pop down DM chainsaws in a bit. Get a part for a strimmer. I lick my fingers first. Right. All right. No, I think I'll get it in there, I reckon. I've got a brush here. Your grass looks good, Pop. Your lawn, your lawn looks good. Yeah. You've been seeding it, why have you? No, I, uh, I give it a, just a little bit first time round. Right. Yeah. Lower a cut down a bit. <laughs> yeah. 
a loony bird, eh? Yeah, you better just better hoover up at the mark, aren't you? Good enough, you. Good enough. Yeah. Right, I'll take the rubbish. I'll put that in my bin at home. That'll save you uh, going down the old tip. Good show. Hey, eh? over here. Where are they going? The garage or shed? No, just go along that. Oh no. It might actually pick up now, pop that's had a bit of a trim. Yeah, it might do. There's plenty of buds on there. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah, my, my, mine, aren't, mine aren't doing as well as yours. Yeah. No, my, mine, mine seems to be more, more struggling. But I think mine are a bit taller than yours, but they're not quite so bulky. Maybe I didn't put mine close enough. Put me edge cutter back. <sighs> right, that is the old man's hedge done. <laughs> I better edit out the swear words out of that lot. Oh, he's old school. He's just what he is. He is old school. Uh, just been up the loft with him because he said all the, he had some work done a little while ago. He had some um, some extractor fans fitted, and uh, he said all the boards were all up. He, he laid wooden flooring over the loft floor, and when we did the work, we left it all up. But uh, just went up the loft, and uh, the boards are all fine, so that's good. I ain't got to worry there. So now, next thing I want to do today, Mrs. P's at work today, so I'm gonna. Um, nip down to my friends over at uh, DM Chainsaws. They're very new Apton, I'm currently in Ford. That's not far away. Nip down to DM Chainsaws. I need to go and pick up a streamer head for someone. Someone's got, uh, I think it's an FS90 something, 94 maybe. Um, he wants a new streamer head for his streamer. And uh, I'll pop down to my friends over at DM Chainsaws. I'll try and get a little bit of video if I can. Uh, don't know how they feel about that, but uh, we'll see. Um, so I'm going to pop down to DM Chainsaws and um, go and get the part for that. DM Chainsaws, if you don't know, they're in uh, Wolverton in, um, in West Sussex. Uh, they're a, a main steel dealer, as well as others. And uh, they're just an absolute wealth of knowledge. Absolute wealth of knowledge. If you want something apart, they figure it out for you. They're good, really good lads in there. Fantastic team. I use them quite a bit for uh, for my bits and pieces that I need. So I'm going to head down to yeah down to DM Chainsaws and um, go and get this part for a strimmer head and hopefully uh, that that job done. And then after that I'll be heading back home to uh, work on an Atco Balmoral 20 SK. Once just a little bit of a service I picked it up yesterday. They said it had been recently serviced, but I don't think it was it had been serviced as recently as I as I would like. Um, so yeah, I want a new spark plug for it, new filters and what have which I've got anyway, so I'll give that a good service. I might give a carburetor a little cling, because I had it running for 20 minutes yesterday, there's a little tiny bit of a surging hunt there, not a lot. But um, them Kawasaki engines need to run a lot smoother, so um, it just wants a little tiny bit, not a lot. And uh, we'll go from there, so hopefully um, I'll get that done. So when I get the DM chainsaws, I'll meet you back in two seconds. So, just approaching DM Chainsaws now, just before you pull into Warburton, it's on the left-hand side. 
coming from Yapton, pulling to you. First left, and then we come to DM Chainsaws. Still dealer, absolutely fantastic people. So we're gonna pull up and see if we can't actually get um, this uh, streamer head. See if I got it in stock, or we might have to have a universal one I could use. So we'll see, and uh, we'll go from there. So yep, yeah, two seconds. Let me go and pick up this streamer head, and I'll be back to you. Right, so over at DM Chainsaws in Warburton, West Sussex, go and check these guys out. They're absolutely fantastic for all your repairs, servicing brand new parts, bits and pieces. They just hooked me up with brand new um, head feeder for the uh, stream I need. They're gonna sort me out. Is that the only one in stock? Was it? The only one. In stock. Only one in stock, okay. baby. I'll have that. Where's my wallet gone? Here it is. Twenty-eight eighty. Worth every single penny. There you go, tap on there. Let me get that up and running. Lovely. Yes, please, buddy boy, I'll have a receipt. Insufficient funds, it says. That can't be right. <laughs> Let's try again. <laughs> Maybe Mrs. P has been on my debit card. She's been fixing mowers on the side. Yeah, do that one. Yeah, <laughs> wouldn't that be right? Approved, baby. Lois TSB, checking me out. All right. Cool. So you hook me up with my receipt. Someone might give it back to you. Someone might give it back to me, you never know. You never know. Cheers, buddy boy. Cheers, Much appreciated. Go check out these boys over at DM Chainsaws. They've got absolutely shed loads of stuff in here. If you want all your machinery fixed, new repairs, new machines, Husqvarna steel, they've got the lot. Go and check them all out. They're absolutely brilliant. See you later on, fellas. Have a good day. Right, so we're back home. And uh, got loads to do today. Got to <clears throat> just get to work on this Atco Bound Moral. Just got to pick it up. Uh, it just wants a, just a few bits and pieces done to it. Because you said it was recently serviced and uh, it wants a new pull cord. Can see that a mile off, and uh, I don't know what the filter's like. That's where the new air filter may be. Let's have a look. Yeah, brand new air filter in there, that's cool, but the spark plug's not new, and uh, I want to check the oil as well because um, <clears throat> it's got a little tiny bit of a hunt to it. Not that that would affect the, uh, affect the, um, the running, but uh, the carburetor wants doing definitely. Uh, yeah, all's bang on. So just a new spark plug and a carburetor clean, I think. It's just got the smallest of hunts on it. That's all, that's all it is. It's not, a, it's not a big thing. But uh, if you want these machines to run absolutely A1, then um, you've got to make sure that that's done. And also, I did notice there's a bit of ethanol in the bottom of the, uh, the water trap as well there. So, yeah, got that to work on today. Just get that finished off. And then also... Um, Got to finish off my Honda Pro um, lawn, lawn flight machine. That's uh, got the, the roller out at the moment. So I've got a, a video coming on uh, how to renew the clutches on that. So I hope to do that in one video. That'd be good. So just went on a part that. That's not here yet. I hope it'll be here today, but uh, it should be. But uh, it'll be here probably tomorrow. So I've got loads to do. The next job I've got to do is got to refelt the shed because uh, the felt has given way. And uh, now summer's here. I can get on and do that before the, uh, before the roof collapses on it. So get that done but just want to say big thank you to everyone that has subscribed to the channel and it is without people like you that my channel would never survive so thank you very much for all the support you've shown me and riley boy and uh hopefully we'll be here for many more years to come Twenty-five thousand subscribers wowzers didn't think that'd ever be possible but so thank you very much for everyone that has subscribed to the channel and uh leave a comment down below um build your communities up keep going thank you guys and uh i'll catch another video very very soon where Mixed Mars and my man will be doing what he does best, I'm trying to show you guys and girls how to repair your garden machinery. So, thank you very much. If you like this little video of Mixed Mars and my man, hit the subscribe button, or whack the old bell, set notifications to all. That way, you'll be telling us something up on the video. And I look forward to you girls and guys next time on Mixed Mars very, very soon. But until then, don't forget, much more importantly, take it easy.